Today I will be talking about the second part of the Omrecker stream that happened on Twitch. Here is part one to that, you can check that down in the description below, the link should be down there. And let's get into more about what he was saying on his Twitch stream. Uh, also, okay, let me uh, let me continue on with some shout outs. No, I, I totally understand guys, always be skeptical, uh, or always be skeptical of, of information, that, especially serious stuff. I, I totally get it. Uh, could care less what's going on in the real world, I'm just here for you. Yeah, th no, for real, thank you, Patty. It seems like over on his Twitch streams, people are pretty supportive. But keep in mind, I made an entire first part of him talking about the situation, and he continues to talk about it over on his Twitch. He recently DM'd me, complaining that I was making videos about his Twitch streams, stalking his streams. Well, it wouldn't happen as much if you don't talk about the situation over there, like you constantly are. I think even some of your Twitch streamers complain that you keep talking about it constantly during your Twitch Stream. It's brought up because somebody asked, yeah, so, uh, well, uh, the donation had kind of referenced things, but yeah, it's it's not my plan to use streams for, for you know, rants or anything about that stuff. I've I've tried to, uh, to let the behind the scenes processes just do their thing and not get into it on social media because it's just not, there's no point right now. Then stop talking about it during your Twitch streams. <laughs> Clearly some of your viewers don't want you to talk about it anymore. And people like me that you have such a big problem making videos about your Twitch streams and commentating on the situation wouldn't make videos if you had nothing to say at all about it. The rest of the Vanos crew has pretty much said nothing about it in a while. You're the one that keeps talking about it in your Twitch streams. One more time, we'll come peace, just bear down and keep moving. Yeah, yeah, keep trucking. I know I tell you guys that all the time. Trust me, I've had to. Uh, it definitely has been challenging at times. There's been a lot of serious uh, things being said, threats, all that stuff. Uh, really inappropriate things being done, hacking on accounts to DDoSing, all that stuff. So uh, definitely have had my moments of needing to keep moving forward one step at a time. Now here, he's not really talking about the situation. He's talking about the reactions to the situation. I want to say very clearly, I've never condoned any sort of harassment, bullying, or death threats going towards anyone for any of my commentary videos I've made in the past. I think this is pretty clear. And before someone is an idiot and sits here and says, oh, why do you have to say that? So I will ask you, TJ, why do you need to tell people not to send death threats? Well, the reason why I say it is because of messages like these. And when I see it, I would also like to be on the same side, especially with the person I disagree, that we do not condone bullying, harassment, or death threats. Because I think that's a general nature we can come to as an agreement. And at least I can do my part by saying I don't condone it. But just because I said it doesn't mean I have to. It just means I'm taking that extra precaution to make sure people don't do it. Now, of course, me saying it ain't gonna stop anyone. But I think it's important to mention. You just want fun right now? Yes, me too. Sunday days should be our fun days all right then we should have no more talk about the situation right you are wrong that's what i've told people by the way if there's anything from you know anything that i could share i i've mentioned this in my past two youtube uploads i prefer to keep it on youtube.com slash omrecker anything put there will be unmonetized re relating to any of this stuff it, it won't it, it won't be uh clout based or anything else like that it, you know it'll be on a channel that has no subs no monetization so keep your eyes on youtube.com slash omrecker just in case a future upload pops up there talking about the situation uh there are some aspects though that are preventing me from saying anything right at the moment like I said, things accelerated very quick in the past week because uh, it was noticed by, yeah, I can't say. Um, what? You talking to the authorities? The FBI? Why do you even have to mention this? I thought Sundays were fun days. Just drop it and stop talking about it unless you actually have something to say about it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try to <laughs> focus on some games now. Oh, great. You guys might all assume that's where the video ends. Nope, we're only halfway through. He still talks about it. I Waking up at... Having to wake up at 7 a.m. on the weekend, both days, be gone all day. It's been a lot of stuff. Past week has been insane. And stressful, of course, but... Now, this is an important clue if anyone wants to be Mr. Investigator over here. He's had to wake up early both days. Could this have something to do with the situation? Well, let's keep looking at the clips. I am really tired, though, guys. I was I was up these past two days. I was up literally, like, the super, super early. You're talking, like, 7.30 a.m. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I had to take care of some stuff that... 
I just, you know, I had no choice but to be up early because, you know, the, the rest of the world <laughs> operates on, on normal day hours. And with just the craziness of the past week, I, you know, I, I had to, uh, I had to do this. The rest of the world operates on normal day hours. Now, this could literally be anything. He could be meeting up with a lawyer. He could be sitting here contacting more authorities. Something that requires him to wake up early, go to a court, something. I have no idea. But again, talking about this just gets people to theorize being like, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean by any of this? And you could have just shut up and continue playing your game, but you continue to still talk about it. Yeah, I, I've been up now for, oh geez, how many hours? 19 hours? About 19 hours or so. so yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a long weekend. A long weekend. Are you trying to hint at something? It's been a long weekend. You could just say you're tired. You haven't gotten much sleep. Again, don't know what he's referring to here. Why he woke up early or anything else. My assumption is that he's probably hinting at something to do with the situation, but I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, I I wouldn't say that things are like necessarily okay. Is that I, that would not be honest. <laughs> Um, but, uh, there, there, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and, uh, it definitely ramped up. It accelerated quite a bit. Um, things have ramped up, accelerated quite a bit. There's stuff happening behind the scenes. He's still talking about the situation. <laughs> I think it's pretty apparent what he's doing here. Telling his viewers that don't worry, there's still stuff coming out. The people that are probably willing to listen to him at this point. And honestly, it seems like most of them don't even care. They just want him to play games. They want to support his content. And they could care less about all this drama that's happening. They just want him to have fun, play games, and that's it. But instead, every once in a while, we're going to get him talking about the situation. Here's the last clip to roll. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm, you know, doing everything uh, I can to try to you know, take care of myself and, and also where I can help and do what I can do to support things that are going on. But, um, I'm so lucky to have the community here. Like you guys talk about a light amongst the chaos. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys have been, uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And finally, he still has his community. He's making videos, his community is there, and he's going to continue making his videos while this entire drama will probably go on halt. I've shown in this video a couple DMs that I've gotten from Omrecker. I will go over that in a video because previously he said that he was done DMing me, but then he decided to DM me over the stupidest thing. The whole live stream I ended up doing with Crow, trying to mock me and make fun of me for it. It's kind of funny when I tell you to stop messaging me and you still do it. Isn't that considered harassment? But you're totally against harassment. I will make a video talking about the DMs, making sure I'm not leaking any private information that should remain private. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's not really much here besides all of that. And if you see him at all talking on his live streams about it, and you are just so happen to be a fan of his, I wouldn't question about the drama, and I would highly encourage you telling him to stop talking about the drama if he wants commentary channels such as myself to stop talking about it. Since he's complaining that I'm constantly making videos and my community is toxic. Anyways, that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There'll be a link to my Discord down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.